God is real, why doesn't he just show himself to everybody nah. to convince Bro, not the same question over and 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 over again, bro. Like, Jesus Christ, bro. Come up with something different. How many videos do we have on YouTube about the same stuff, bro? Okay. I don't I don't get it bro. Why don't people just look that up on Google bro? Like seven hundred thousand videos about the same question. First one. God oh has given God. more than enough evidence for any thinking person to believe in him. The proof of that is ninety-three percent of all human beings believe in some type of God. Ninety-three percent. Seven percent of the world is atheist or agnostic. Ninety-three percent believe in some type of God. So obviously, God has left more than enough evidence yeah. of his existence. The second point, then. Yeah, but why doesn't he give me the type of evidence that I want? Why doesn't he give me more physical evidence that he exists? That's a very dangerous path to go down. And we know that. Is, God, you got to do it my way. If you can fit yourself into a mathematical equation, God's not gonna do what you want, bro. Get that in your head. We, God doesn't serve us. We serve God. Okay. We don't go by our rules. God, God doesn't go by our rules. We go by God's rules, man. Simple as that, bro. It can't if get you can any fit simpler. Into a scientific that. proof, then I'll believe in you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you don't treat people that way. So don't treat God that way. If a young woman says to a young man, I really love you, and he says, I don't believe you. And she says, what do you mean? And he looks her in the face and says, unless you have sex with me, I don't think you love me. That's manipulative. Oh, yeah. That's not being open, vulnerable, okay. honest. That's being that manipulative. That analogy is really good. Well, the same thing with God. For me to say, God, if you exist, you have to meet this criteria in order for me to believe in you. That's not being no. open and honest and vulnerable. That's being highly manipulative. So I think it's rather clear. Don't and trust me, bro, it's not like like these people that be asking God, like, show yourself so that we can believe in you, show me some proof, yada, 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 bro. Like, even if God were to show and proof, they will still find a way to not believe in him. Do not at me on that, bro. I'm telling you, they'll still find a way. Because if you don't want to believe in God, you're going to put excuses and excuses and more excuses. That's all that is it. Okay? I'll leave it at that, bro. Manipulate people and don't try and manipulate God. It ain't going to work. The final point is this. In Romans chapter 1, Paul writes, for although they knew God, they neither glorified God nor gave thanks to Him. But their foolish hearts became darkened. What's he talking about? Just look at your motives. I look at my motives. I've got some pure motives, and i got some really evil motives. And usually, I am motivated by a combination of both pure and impure motives. Is it not possible, due to my impure motives, that I am blind to the evidence that God has given me. Obviously, yes. So that's why to be truly objective about God is really hard. Because I want to run away from God. I am a sinner. And I would just as soon run away from God. Michael spoke about it eloquently. I am not like Michael. But I am like him and I'm a sinner. We both sin. We both have run away from God. And we both have been realized we need Jesus Christ. What? We need God's grace. Both Michael. Why does the other sound like that? Is he only me or? Landing. So you're different from Michael. You're different from me. We all are unique. But we all have a fundamental problem. God, get out. I want to run my life my way. It expresses itself through Michael. It expresses itself through me. It'll express itself through you. So be honest with yourself. Be honest with God. And seek to be as objective and open-minded as you can possibly be. The thing is, the thing is, my opinion, right? I think that you have to seek God first, and He will reveal Himself to you in the time that He sees fit. Okay, not our timing, God's timing. 